All right, everybody, welcome back to another real hunting video. I have a whole bunch of little bobbleheads back there. How many? How many? Like, how many do I have? Four. Quite a few. We've had a really good hunt so far. Ben and Stu have both killed. So, if you have not seen that video, go check that one out. Go check that one out. Go check that one out. <laughs> Let's go. All right. <clears throat> There's orange everywhere. The hills are littered in orange right now. And we have a buck bedded <laughs> right in the middle of all the chaos. And Stu just shot his first elk head. All within 200 yards of each other. There's Ben there, and then we got a dead elk right up there in the trees. <laughs> and I had my sights on him forever, and I'm like, I have to. Boom! <laughs> and I just saw him bounce and saw that blood right on his front shoulder. And I'm like, can we get there? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that dude. <laughs> my first bull elk. That's awesome, dude. Congrats, man. Oh, look Open. at the crew we got, man. How do you make that better? I know. Ben's got his family here. <laughs> uh, my whole crew, they all wanted to go out this morning. We got a new day. Uh, it's a little windy today because um, there's a front moving in. It's gonna get real cold tomorrow. So if we don't kill, um, I won't feel too bad because I think tomorrow's gonna be amazing, but we are not, I'm not necessarily picky. I'm more or less looking for just a good moment, especially with my whole crew here. Hopefully we have a buck on the ground soon. Hey, day's just started, you can't be yawning. Waking up, y'all. Oh, it's a waking up, y'all. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I found a pretty good three by four. Uh, the wind has got these deer kind of hunkered down, and uh, the kids have been finding just sheds. We've actually found it quite a few uh, this morning. All right, that's number one, two. We're gonna check. We've got some new area. All right, I just ran all the way back to the truck because what I thought we were just gonna pick up a good shed. Kaylee ended up glassing up a good buck. And so I'm headed over there now to see how good he is. All right, well, this is pretty brutal. Um, that big buck got up again. And this time he fed right to me, but he's like 50 yards from the technically the public. There's not a fence. I'm just going off of the map. So it's so close. I'm like, oh, she's so close. And then he goes down the draws, and now they're even further into private. And I'm like, just waiting for him to come up the hill, but I don't know if they're going to. He came over, kicked another buck off of his doze. And now he's just, you know, 
living his best life right now, though. So, I've got deer at like 400 yards. The does are almost to the public land. And the buck has come up and was with those does. They needed to go like another 50 yards probably. And a side-by-side -side drove by. And so they came back off. And I'm just waiting and waiting for that buck to come over this top. Because once he crosses this top, it goes over. He's in the public. And then it's game on. So he's so close. But he's still got two hours of daylight. My wife and kids are up on the ridge watching. It's been a long day, all day, just watching this buck. Hoping that he's been coming close every time. So he's just going to mess up one of these times. Hopefully soon. All right, after sitting all day in the cold, uh, that buck never came off private, but right now the three by four that was with him yesterday, uh, Pierce is on public now, so uh, I'm gonna try, right now we're getting the range finder, and we're gonna try and make something happen on this buck. Uh, got the whole family out here today, so. See if we can get this buck down. Oh shoot. Why did those guys come and screw with me? Those guys are freaking idiots. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're sitting around having lunch, eating some food. The sun is shining today. But it's still cold. Um, everything's rutting pretty good. We're doing a vote as far as our options go. Whether we try to go after the big bucks again. There's really one really good one. And then another big one showed up again last night. So there's another big buck in there. But I do have a, you know, like a 20 inch wide two point over here that's bedded down. It's still going to be a big hike, but it's probably more likely to kill a, that deer. It's, it's going to be a slam dunk. If we go down there, we're going to kill a deer. But the question is, is vote for everybody. With where we're at right now, who votes for to, to go after a small deer? Okay. Dean, you hear this? Now, who wants a big deer? Who wants to go after a big deer? I do. I, I do. I want a big deer. <laughs> All the girls are, It's a tie. So we have a tie. You've killed enough big deer. I have not killed enough big deer. Yeah, well, the Mr. little deer crabs. Yeah, You're biggest. One. Well, other I'm not really sure what to do at this point. Other than... I mean, it's Wednesday. It's actually the best day of the entire hunt so far. We can go down there and, and go down after that... If we see a, night, a bigger buck, then I'll shoot it. Mm. But if we don't find a bigger buck, then I'll shoot the smaller one. So here's my question for you. Yeah. <clears throat> if we kill a big one, then what What are we going to do with it? What are we going to do with the horns? Everything. Well, we're going to eat it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the horns, like what? You might not be able well, to kill one of the big ones. You could go and kill this one. We all could be there. And then we get guaranteed jalapeno and cheese snacks. And then the meat's more. Why do you want a uh -huh. All right, well, it's still up for debate. We don't know what. Spot is going on. Ding, 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 ding. You gotta stop moving around. Come here. Hurry.
Oh, you, you got him. See him? Sorry, it's hard to move. It. Yeah. I zoomed it out a little. There's the dough. Did you feel good about that shot? Oh yeah, I smoked. Oh, smoked it. Yeah, he's done. He's done. <laughs> Watch this. So this is what we got to do is we got to go back to the video and we got to look at the... Okay, so, so we gotta there's get a little cedar tree and he was... So the little cedar tree was behind him. All right. Doesn't get much better than this right here, huh, Dean? Stetson's over there looking for horns. So I got the whole crew, all the kids. My wife is up on the hill kind of walking us into the right sage bush that he was standing because unfortunately uh, lost the eyes on him after a shot, but the shot felt good. Saw the doe go over, but we didn't actually see him go down. So we're cruising up to check for blood, find where we saw him last, and hopefully trail him. Oh, this hill's steep. Good job, Dean. Then did you carry me up? Fine, Dean, Dean hang on. Yeah. Let's make sure he's dead. Make sure he's dead. Hang on. You gotta poke him in the eye. If he blinks, he's still alive. Oh, he's got three on that side. Oh, yeah. Poke him in the eye. Poke him, Dean. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> you smoked him. What do you guys think? Awesome. It's pretty cool, huh? It's like the same one Tommy killed. It is. Yeah. It's about you know, me and it's about the experience. That's the most important part is the experience. And that was pretty cool to have all you guys there watching, ranging. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you did good. Looks like he's scratched. I'm so glad that you could be here. I'm glad that all of you guys could be here. That, I mean, that's honestly like what makes everything so special. Mm. Good job. Yep. Yeah. I know everybody. When you go on a hunt, you want everybody wants to shoot a giant and a big deer, mature deer. But we saw some good bucks, but unfortunately, didn't pan out on the big ones. But some things are more special just because of who you're with. And I couldn't have traded this moment any other way. We call this right here, see this? This is called the backstab. Yeah. Well, that was an amazing time. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Had a great time the last few days with these guys, my whole crew, my wife, Kaylee, the kids. It was uh, so fun to spend some time with them. Uh, if you are new to the channel, click click that subscribe button. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, and in the meantime, keep, keep it real. Keep it real.